Hello and welcome to today's Ticket Source webinar. Now today we're going to show you how to add in your own branding and styling to your event and booking pages. Now feel free to pick and choose which elements of today's session you wish to apply to your pages. Bear in mind that branding is completely um, optional and versatile, so pick which elements match your own needs as part of this. Now to show you then what we're going to end up with at the end result, here is an example of some booking pages that we can see on screen with the branding applied. So here then we have our Westbourne Theatre and Arts Centre. This has a header image applied to the top of the pages. The background colour has been adjusted to match the branding of the venue, the button colour to a nice gold colour. Here we can see we're looking then at our card view and we've got the thumbnail image linked to the event and clicking on the event itself will take us in and show us the post image that we're going to be applying later. OK, now before we get to the stage, I'm going to show you with the starting blocks. And so if I move to a different tab here, we can see the same event with no branding applied or our default branding. So as I said before, you're welcome to use the out of the box branding with the ticket source banner and logo and the orange button color. But This is how you're going to start your life on your account. OK, now to get started, then what you need to do is log into your ticket source dashboard. Hopefully you've already created your event or in the process of setting up your event. We have other webinar sessions that will take you through that session. So here is an example of an existing event that's already set up and I'm going to apply the branding and artwork to this event here. So to go in to upload your image, what we need to do is head to the event designer. So to do that, hover over the events menu at the top of the page and select modify event from the drop down. Then on the current events drop down, select the event that you'd like to edit and then click modify down the bottom of the page. And we're now within our event designer. So the images are located under the main event details. So select modify under your event title under the left hand column. And in here we can see the descriptions and titles of the event. But if I scroll down a little further, we can see the ability to add in a poster and a thumbnail image. Now the poster image is designed as we saw before next to the event description that's going to be a portrait style image that can have some basic text element on it, it will be visible to the customer. The thumbnail then will be a smaller um, example image with no text on there or, or larger text is very clear. So to get started to upload your image all you need to do is click on the plus icon on the image box and it will then browse your device to find suitable images. Here we can see a selection of images which we're going to be uploading as we go along the post image here in a nice portrait style. Um, I'll also include a link to recommended dimensions or sizes so you can make any adjustments to images before uploading to the system. But bearing in mind, you can also do some adjustments whilst in the system. If you need to move your image around, then you can click and drag that into view. And underneath them, we have the ability to zoom in and out of your image accordingly. If you make a mistake at any point, simply hover over the bin icon on the right hand side. You can delete that image and re-upload a new image as you need to. And bear in mind, you can always come back later to upload a later image if you need to. So nothing is set in stone on these pages. So my poster image has now been applied. I'm going to scroll down and use the same principles, clicking the plus icon. And here I've got a simplified version of that image just with the event title on there for the thumbnail. Underneath then we've got the ability to upload um, some ticket design as well. So if I expand the ticket settings, you'll see two boxes very similar to upload a cover image and a footer image to the e-ticket. So if you'd like to, you might find it suitable then to add in your own logo or some branding to the e-tickets. The cover image would, might be your, your logo. The footer image might be um, associates or partners or sponsors that you're working with. You might choose to um, give them some coverage and add in some logos to the footer of your e-ticket if you need to. So the same principles, click on the plus icon. You'll see here that I've got a, a ticket header image and then underneath and we have a ticket footer image. Now you'll see these are banner images. These are taking advantage of the width of the e-ticket as part of it, okay? Once you're happy, then we're going to scroll to the very bottom and select save changes to apply this artwork to our event. OK, now, before we look at it from the public perspective, then I'm going to show you some other areas of the system that you can change the look and feel of if you need to. So we've done the event images, but now we're going to look at the ticket shop images or the booking pages. Now to head there, we need to go to the settings menu and then down to ticket shop. OK, in here, then there are a few areas of changing the look and feel of your booking pages online. Firstly, then we've got how your events are displayed on our events. So the default setting is a list detailed view that will show up as a horizontal list in chronological order. 
you'll see that there are three or four other options. We've got the ability to show um, your events as a calendar view. That would be the date going across the pages and then the time slots underneath. So if you've got a repeat event taking place over a number of days, that might be suitable for you or time slot ticketing. And we've also got a card view. So we'll have multiple cards along the horizontal axis of the booking pages. I'm going to select, for example, purposes, the card detail, and we'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Underneath then we can see an example of the booking pages themselves. We saw before the default settings has our ticket source banner and the orange booking button, but you can adjust this and add in your own artwork to these pages. So to get started, you can see the background color. For example, I can click on here and select a suitable color um, from the color palette. And you can see here that adjusting the color on, on the screen will change in the example above. To save a bit of time, I've got the color codes already prepped in here, which you'll see you can type into the box below to select a specific color. I'm going to choose a darker gray background to match my own website. To make sure the text is visible and a different contrast, I'm going to select then a white color on here. And my theater example has a gold button on the website, so I'm going to change from the orange over to a gold color. And we can see here the examples. We're starting to add our own look and feel and our own design to these booking pages. Now, to replace our ticket source banner, as we can see on the example, if I scroll down, there are two cover images we can upload. One is for a desktop or a tablet, so that's going to take advantage of the width of the screen. And the cover image for mobile should be a more narrower example of that. Again, I'll include, um, along with this article, recommended dimensions to help you adjust your images accordingly. But if I upload my um, example here, here is my cover desktop image. And we can see here this is the Westbourne Theatre and Arts Centre banner. And underneath it, I'm going to have a simplified version of that just for a mobile. And you can see here this is taking advantage of a narrower uh, width on the page. OK. And then lastly, if we scroll down, we've got the ability for those that are um, familiar with uh, CSS on websites to change in styling, you can actually change the core CSS on our website. If you're unsure what CSS is or how to use it, I suggest this isn't for you and just use the default settings out of the box. Otherwise, feel free to add in your own custom code as you need to. To show you a very brief example, I've just pasted in here the ability to hide the default organization name because that's already catered within my, Im my image. So I don't want that doubled up on my pages. Okay. Once we're happy then, as with all of our pages, scroll to the bottom, click on the save changes, we'll get the tick on the page to confirm, and we can see the preview of our pages now looking very different to the pages that we saw before with the ticket source branding. So before we look at this on the final stages on the customer point of view, I'm just going to show you how you can add some additional text and your website and social media links to these booking pages. You may have already been in here before done this, but if you head to account and account settings, you'll see here at the top of the page the ability to add in the organization description. So it's a great tool just to put in a couple of paragraphs about who you are and what you do. So I'm pasting that in there. And if we scroll to the bottom, then you have the ability to put in your own web URL and social media handles. So that helps the customer just find out a little bit more about you or go onto your own uh, pages to find out more about other things that you're doing around and about. OK, so scrolling down, saving changes on this page. And these are all of our changes applied. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move to our online booking pages. Just to remind you, this is what we started off with, with the ticket source branding and look and feel. If I refresh that page, we'll see now that all of this artwork has now been created. We've got this lovely header image at the top of the page. We have the event description. We have then our links to our website and social media on there. We have our event thumbnail image. And clicking on the event description would take us in to show us our post image. So we can see it's a massive transformation. It adds a bit of personality to your booking pages. Do bear in mind that you can also embed our booking pages within your own website. There is code within your publicize events section. Um, so feel free to play around with your own artwork, put in your own stamp on your booking pages. Bear in mind, we're always on hand. If you need uh, any assistance with it, you can contact us uh, via um, telephone, email or online chat. We've also got a knowledge base article and we'll be doing some future webinars to kind of show you around some more areas of the system. So do check out for that. Thank you for joining today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye bye.